Keep your pants up. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Mark Goes Hiking. Today I'm out with my two daughters and my niece and a few nephews. We're doing a little backpacking trip today, a little day hike. And we're gonna go have lunch out on the trail. So I'm gonna teach some of these guys, like these guys here, how to use an alcohol stove and just a normal canister stove as we make some lunch. So here we go. Hey Declan, I think we already have a trail name for you. And that's uh, due to your chosen footwear to hike in. I think your trail name is John Wayne, or JW for short. How's that sound? Good. I think that sounds pretty awesome. All right, first order of business teaching the cook is leave no trace principles. Take care of all of your trash, leave no trash laying around. We all know this, right? What these young lads are learning. So this will be the little trash bag, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything trash goes in there. All right, so what stove do you guys want to learn first? The canister stove or the alcohol stove? Alcohol. Canister stove. Wow. Alcohol. Okay, alcohol wins. Gets two votes. Sorry, Declan. We'll do yours next. All right, so we're going to start learning the alcohol stove. So for that one, we're going to use the easiest one I know about, and that is the Trangia style alcohol stove. Everything is contained in here. Okay, this has the alcohol in here. It's got a nice lid. If you wanted, if you wanted to drink alcohol, you could drink out of that. I guess you could. So you could keep the alcohol in there. It's got a nice seal on there. All right, so you can. So this is the easiest alcohol stove to take backpacking because you don't have to take a separate container um, for your fuel, which yeah. is really nice. Mm -hmm. So what I like to use for this one too, which makes cooking a little bit easier, although your pot should be able to sit on here with the flames coming up, but I like to use these pot stands because it just makes it a lot easier for the style of stove. So you just go like that, go like that. Now you have a nice little pot stand. Makes it a lot easier, a lot more stable to use, okay? So then you want level ground. So we'll get this attempt to be level here. We're on kind of a hill. So push that into the ground here a little bit. Make it level. Get pretty close. There we go, nice level. Sturdy pot stand. I want my water okay, now we need a pot. So we'll take a big pot, an MSR pot. This is a pretty big one. I think it's 750 milliliters. This guy here, we're gonna put it on top of the alcohol stove, like so. And we need some water, guys. Who's got water? Me. Because we are going to make some dehydrated tacos, homemade tacos. So we're gonna hydrate them. We're gonna make hydrated tacos. Oh, a little teeny water bottle, perfect for this cook pot. <laughs> Scott, you brought, I... you brought like a baby bottle with you, man. <laughs> Come why, on, man. That's why I got a little, that's why I only got a little one because I didn't think we needed a lot. You just thought it was perfect for cooking. So this well, with my tacos, no, this would probably do maybe three bags of our tacos. Really? Yeah, they don't, um, they don't totally hydrate perfectly. Um, so this might be enough for three of us. Okay. What do you think we do next, guys? Uh, light Put it. the, uh, yeah, light it. What, what'd you say, Scotty? Put, uh, light it. Okay. Put the lid on and we'll give it a light. All right, Scotty, you want to grab the pot? And we'll give it a light. So the hard part with, not quite yet, I want to make sure it's on. The hard part with the alcohol stoves, you can't really see the flame too well. Um, so we are lit, so go ahead and put the pot on. What if you accidentally burn yourself? What's that? What if you accidentally burn yourself when you put it over it? Then you got to deal with the burn. Yep. Yep. Try not to. Yeah. But it's been known to happen. How's your fruit? Good. Good. Dollar store special right there. What are the ingredients on that, Scotty? Uh, pineapples. That's it. Straight up pineapple. Good dollar store apple. stat. Apple. Just just apples? Yep, straight up apples. No sugar, no nothing added. It's good fun. Yeah. 
All right, so it is a little breezy. So guys, what you can do is you can use a windscreen. You can use aluminum foil for this, or this is one that I bought. It's a titanium windscreen. And you can wrap it around to block the wind. Especially with alcohol stoves, it'll become really inefficient if the wind's blowing it because it just keeps that flame from being central on the pot and you'd lose a ton of energy that way. So this will help us be a lot more efficient and get our water boiling faster. Cool. What's up, buddy? Uh, how long does the ha water have to boil? Well, the water we just had, how long does it take to get it to boil? Yeah. Well, it, de it depends right now because I just put that windscreen on. Um, with the amount of water we have in there, I don't know, maybe five minutes. Mm -hmm. Hey, oh, all right, Scotty, let's get you a pot. Why don't you take that pot out of there? All right, Declan, empty the tacos into your pot. Don't you need water in it? Uh, you will later. Scotty, you can empty that into yours. And Declan, you're going to use this one here, okay? Me? Yep. So I made these two weeks ago, and they've been in the freezer since. What's in this? So you were eating yesterday? Oh. Uh, were well, you driving me to my soccer game? Yeah. I'm yep. wondering. What's like, in it? it? I thought it was like beef jerky or something. <laughs> Here's the other way of cooking. This is probably, if you're going to, when you start backpacking, you probably want to use one of these. So this is just a canister <laughs> stove. All right. And this is just going to be a stove that you attach to the fuel. Okay. So this is called the BRS 3000. And you want to, what you're going to do is you're going to screw this on. Okay. You're not going to put a lot of pressure here because it's not real strong. So you got to like grab down here, but right when it gets tight, then you want to spin it really fast to tighten it up, but don't yank on these because it'll break them. Okay. So you're ready. Maybe even right here and you go really fast to turn it. Okay. Okay. I'll give here the gas can out. Okay, really fast, really fast. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Good job. <laughs> nice job. There you go. A fuel tank. That is how you cook with a fuel canister stove. And we'll get that lit here in just a minute, okay? <laughs> <laughs> showing it on I don't think you're doing okay. it yet. That's, that's All right. the water's boiling right now. So we'll get the... Uh, it's okay, JJ. We'll get the other one going here. That's good. Because the girls need to eat too, right? Yeah. They're going to eat simple sensations, right? Simple sensations. All right. So this one's a lot easier. You just uh, start to turn it on and you... There we go. We got a little bit of wind, so... That's exactly what I got. So boys, which one do you think is faster? Which stove? The canister, the canister stove? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So that's one of the benefits. That's one of the benefits of the uh, canister stoves. It's a lot faster. Okay. Scotty, how is it? Good. Declan? Good. Jackson? Is it good? I haven't tried it yet. All right. How's the simple sensation, girls? Good. Oh, oh. Is it really oh, it'll be totally fine.